All right, we're about to set off on our whirlwind adventure to London and Copenhagen. We're about to leave. Arya told me we had to leave by three. It is now 3.41, because he didn't pack until just now. I'm packing one, two, three, five pairs of shoes. Oh my God. Okay. I want to look good. Okay, but I'm ready to go, and I packed us some snacks. We've got two sandwiches to eat at the airport, and I've got my reusable water bottle, and uh, here's my fit, motorcycle shirt, baggy pants, fancy jacket. I look like a popper. Basically, it's comfortable, but then this jacket does things. This jacket makes everything seem expensive, so that's great, because none of this is expensive. It's pretty much time to hit the road. And just like that, we've got a beautiful journey, starting with the place where dreams go to die, LAX. I won't bother you with footage of this terrible airport because frankly, nobody needs to see that. 11 hours in the air before we touch down in London. Here's something you might find hard to believe. I didn't check the weather before I got here and it was 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That is zero degrees Celsius. I tried to get a hot black tea when I first landed, but I didn't realize that in London, an English breakfast includes milk. The best hotel in London. We some mocktails because Merle and I are sober for the rest of our lives. No, we're not. The rest of our lives. They had roasted butternut squash soup and a celery ax steak. Celery ax steaks aren't my favorite, but I was impressed they had so many vegan options. We're awake. It looks like it's nighttime, but it's actually six in the morning. And the city is bustling. That's true, you're right, yeah. We went to bed at... 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Woke, I woke up at 5.45, and so we're just gonna get up and have our nice, check it out, we got a corner room, which is cool. So we can, oh my God, you're putting your pants on. I'm hoping there will be vegan options at breakfast, but we will just have to wait and see. Hopefully they did have vegan options for breakfast. I had an oat milk cappuccino and a vegan English breakfast. This breakfast consisted of vegan sausages, baked beans, fried potatoes, avocado, roasted tomato, and roasted portobello, and of course some toast. Enough to fill a whale, but surprisingly, I didn't feel too heavy afterwards. I was ready to take on the day. This is my fit check for the day. I've got two pairs of socks on, two pairs of pants on, <laughs> and a shirt, a sweater, another shirt, and a jacket because it's fucking freezing outside. But we look good doing mm. it. Let me show you around. Let me show you a sound. <laughs> this is our view. There's an office right there. There's a guy looking at me right now. I don't know. I just keep trying not to make eye contact with those people. But it's beautiful. Look at this old building here. See the old wood? I've been telling myself that that wood's been there for hundreds of years, and I believe that it's true. So, we've got a historic view right there. <laughs> and I'm excited about it. We got some good walking in. Miles, in fact. Being in a new country, everything feels so new and exciting. The cobblestone streets, the accents, the pigeons. We found our way to Buckingham Palace and enjoyed a nice warm bowl of ramen. All right, it's the second day and I'm gonna go out on a little solo adventure. I'm primed and ready to go into the cold. It is 37 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that's like zero degrees, almost zero degrees Celsius. I got my gloves, I got my glasses, I got my camera. Let's go. Walking around London, I have to say one of the main highlights for me is to see such old, beautiful buildings mixed with modern, sleek architecture. My favorite little church that I happened to stumble upon was St. Helen's Church, dating back to the mid 12th century. When I stumbled upon it, I just liked the look of it, but upon further investigation, I found out that this humble little old church is actually casually iconic. It was the parish church of William Shakespeare when he lived in the area in the 1590s. Let me tell you something. I took my solo trip. I walked around. I said, London, I'm here. <laughs> News flash. Nobody cares. Hm. I care. Nobody cares. I walked I care. around in my I nice care. sweater. I care. Nobody cares. Everyone's too busy though. walking to and from work, walking to school, walking to this, yeah. walking to that. Traveling is lonely. No. Oh, don't do it. I'm just kidding. Don't do it. I mean, do it, right, sweetie? Yeah, sweetie. She's a funny one, and I love her. How come every time you come around my London, London bridge when I come down like London, London, London? Whoa. This, I can't lie, this London bridge doesn't look very special. Maybe that one over there is a special one. Who knows? Take me on a trip and let it go someday. 
Take me to New York, I'd love to see LA. I really want to. This is the understatement of the century. Young, young noodles. Uh, we had to get some. She had to get some. Somebody just committed a felony. Would you like to tell them what you did? I need a little match here. You have to burn the edges off so it goes down. Like yeah, and he said, "Trust me, trust me." And then he dropped a, and then he dropped a lit match on on the table. Because a character. This woman's got herself some noodles here. <laughs> Is she happy with that? <laughs> don't make fun of my bangs, I'm wearing it at all day. We took a nice walk to London Tower today. We got a little distracted. The London Tower. To the London Tower today. And we got a little distracted. We no, Tower of London. Unfortunately, we were there an hour before it closed, so we weren't able to go. <laughs> so instead, we took some pictures around it. So we decided to look for a nice cafe, but I also had to use the restroom, and so did Aria. So we started frantically walking back, and I said, why don't we just get go to a cafe near the hotel? And he said, no, we already did that yesterday. I said, why don't we go to a cafe near the hotel? He said, no. So he takes us in the opposite direction, up into the inner city. I wanted to find one with a good review. He wanted to find one with a good review. I need to find a place for the bathroom. And preferably a pastry. And uh, we looked, we went, must have gone to four different ones. They either didn't have pastries or they didn't have bathrooms. So we were frantically getting out about to pee my pants as men's trying to make me take packs of photos of him as we're going back. Finally, we say, I said, we can't possibly go back to Paul's, the chain restaurant that <laughs> is not a little tucked away home owned business. Because that's where we went yesterday when we gave up and couldn't find anywhere to go. But sure enough, after the seventh cafe without a bathroom and or we're at Pastry. We are back at Paul's, <laughs> enjoying an authentic Parisian espresso. Italian? Say hello, Jessica, our beautiful host. Hello, you. Yes, we love Jessica, and here's Curtis, hello. the strapping young lad. Oh. Good gosh. <laughs> and we're drinking, what are we drinking, Jess? CBD, um, elderflower, lemon dazzle. Jessica is the kind of best friend you need because she plans this trip so I don't have to. These are all the things I'm allowed to eat tomorrow. <laughs> and she's also telling me where I can go because I didn't plan anything on this trip. What are you doing? Arya's rifling through their pockets. Now we're off to Denmark. This is one person who decided to take one bag. Here's a person that decided to take two bags. I want to make sure I have all the clothing off as I can. You press the day. Was it worth it? Yes. No, it wasn't. He got stuck on the gate getting in. Nothing could have prepared me for how much I would love Copenhagen. It was bikeable, walkable, beautiful, sustainable. It had so many cool thrift stores, which is where I found my new favorite scarf. Even though it was absolutely frigid, the whole city felt magical. The concept of Hega, Hega? I think it's Hega. Made complete sense in a place like this. The breakfast at our hotel included a Bloody Mary station. Can't lie and say it was easy for me to turn that one down. Today on our first day in Denmark, we are going to go to Castelselat. Castel, what is it called? Castelat, I believe. Castelat, Quest de Castelat. Basically the main castle here. But we're gonna be biking. Everything is under 10 minute bike, basically. Bike ride around. And then tomorrow we're gonna do Christiana, which is like the hippie commune. We'll see, but we've got a lot to do, so we're gonna hit the road. Ready? What the f is that? What is that? <laughs> Scary. Some mysterious loud music blasting in the town square. There's a little mermaid here, the statue by Edvard Eriksson, based on the Hans Christian Andersen story, The Little Mermaid. Little buds. Cute. Don't get hit by a van. Now you're in Denmark. Copenhagen where dreams are made of. This is such a trusting city. Nobody locks their bikes. There's no bike locks. Huh. At least not here. <laughs> there are criminals everywhere. How are your feet not frozen off? Oh, there's another cutie. Oh, there's a heron right there. 
How are they not frozen to the bottom? So this is the tea on today. I was so excited to go to the Stam Commune. I, probably more than I should have been because I thought, you know, it's gonna be progressive. I was like so excited and I'm like, this is gonna be a highlight of this trip. I'm not gonna lie y'all. I don't know if it was the weather. I don't know if it was, I don't know what it was, but it was muddy. It's like the snow was mostly melted, but like half melted. And it just felt like kind of in disarray. Like again, it's probably the time of year, you know, it's like overcast. But honestly, that was like basically the whole trip. It was freezing and wet and cold, but we still had a blast. Some of the graffiti was really beautiful and some of it was not, but it was everywhere. I was like really surprised by how ubiquitous it was all over the place. And if you live in Christiana and you're watching this, it's nothing against you. I'm sure Christiana's lovely. It just wasn't exactly what I expected. And for the thousandth time, it was muddy and cold and wet and overcast. Kind of expecting like a midsummer, but fun, you know? Well, honestly, most of midsummer probably was fun until the horrible bad things that happened. But yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm kind of a hippie lady, but I, even I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to live here. I'm eager to return in the summer because I've already decided I'm going back to Copenhagen in the summer when they, they have 20 hours of daylight in the summertime. So we gotta do that. But anyway, I was just kind of surprised by that. You know? And we didn't want to film like much in there anyway, especially they don't like you to film on Pusher Street because that's where weed deals happen and you don't want to catch people on camera. So we didn't film a ton in there. I just got some of the artwork that I could find that wasn't in the like no filming zones. Probably doesn't help that we watched Speak No Evil, which is like a Danish film. You have people from Denmark going to Holland. It's scary things happen, so maybe that was in my mind. I don't know. All I'm saying is it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. I still love Denmark, I still wanna live here. What's your favorite part of the day? And then we tricked it. Somebody bought more than I did somehow. Or somehow I only bought one thing and somebody else bought about 12. No, I bought four things. Maybe five. Maybe six. No. No, I did not. No, I did not. <laughs> What's this little meal you've got? I'm gonna have chocolate. So what? Okay, so I'm back in LA. I got Lucille this morning. I saw Genevieve last night. I have to say, I did not have it in me to record the journey home. It was just, I was up at 9.30 a.m. in the UK, and then I stayed up all night. I stayed up through the whole flight, so I would sleep when I got back. So I was awake for 21 hours <laughs> from start to finish. But now I'm back, and it's so nice to be back. Genevieve last night was so happy to see me. She was just purring and stomping our little feet and just being so sweet and happy and it just really warmed my heart. And then today, Lucille almost lost her marble. She was like sniffing the door before I even opened it. She knew I was coming. So I've been just having lots of floor time with the girls and making spaghetti alla sassina at 10.30 in the morning because my internal clock is still off. I did go to bed at 9.30 p.m. last night when I got home and that was the right move. I woke up at 3 a.m. but then I was able to fall back to sleep and I slept until about 6.30 a.m. So I got a good nine hours of sleep, give or take. So I think we're, we're off to an excellent start with the jet lag. I'm gonna stay up as long as I can until like probably nine or so, 10 maybe, maybe 11. And yeah, you know, just get back into the groove of things. I do think it's important to reflect when you return from a vacation because I learned so much like about the value of unplugging. I know that sounds ironic because I'm vlogging, but like these vlogs are also for my memories, you know, like I, I would be filming videos on my trips anyway. And I love to, I commonly would edit together videos of 
trips and family events or whatever. So the fact that I'm sharing it with you guys is just a little bonus, but so important. I've decided I need to get out of the house more often. Since I work from home, I often do everything in my living room or in the office. So I need to get back to going to cafes and filling my creative cup because honestly, that was the thing I was doing the most while we were abroad. Writing and just like getting excited for making new films and acting and everything like that. I just think it's so good to step away from the routine and the hubbub of life. And also it fills my cup to be excited to make more videos for you guys. And I'm gonna be trying to post more frequently. I'm trying to move up to twice a week. So I think as long as I get out of the house more, manage my time realistically, and really carve out that time for creative, you know, projects for myself. Those are like important takeaways that I wanna, I wanna maintain. But thank you guys for coming along on this trip, on this journey, it was really fun. And yeah, I'm gonna eat my morning, my breakfast spaghetti, which maybe, I don't know, maybe that'll be a thing I do from now on. And just hang out with the girls. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. I still have a vlog from Laos and Singapore and Vietnam that I have all the footage from, from last year, over a year ago now, and I never put it together. So maybe I'll work on that, we'll see. But that was an epic trip, so I really should. Please like, subscribe, and look forward to more videos coming out more regularly. If you guys like the vlog, let me know. I'd happily vlog more often. Goodbye!